my name is Kathy Jarvis and welcome to my channel and if you've been following along you know that I am cleaning and decluttering the house and we've been working on the kitchen since the 1st of January and you're probably thinking it's February why is she still in the kitchen well mainly it's because the kitchen is the heart of your house it's where you prepare all your meals it's where people gather at to eat and stuff and therefore it needs to be clean and you're in the kitchen a lot you have a lot of cabinets to go through more than anywhere else in the house so it takes a little bit longer to do the kitchen so I'll tell you what I did this week and well hopefully you're following along and doing some of the same things the one thing that I did was I cleaned the ceiling fan all the decorations on the wall. I cleaned the stove completely. Top, the oven, underneath of it, behind it. I cleaned the um, stove vent, stove hood vent. I cleaned it, took it apart, cleaned it, made sure the light bulbs were good on it and the fan was working well. Took the microwave and moved it cleaned underneath it, cleaned around the back of it, got rid of all the cobwebs that happened to be there. Went through all my spices and got rid of all the spices that were old or that didn't smell like they're supposed to, didn't have that nice spicy aroma. And then I cleaned the fr refrigerator inside, outside, and the freezer underneath of it and behind it. Now, I also cleaned underneath everything. And that's the tricky part. And now I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned. So hang on while I move you around. Most, most vacuums come with a short little extension and that's not going to reach underneath of your um, refrigerator to get the coils. This little thing helps a lot and it pulls out a lot of the dust and the dirt and stuff, but you can't really get between the coils to clean the coils. So a little trick that I found that works very well is take an old paper towel tube, push that into your vacuum, and then you can get that underneath there, goes all the way farther back, and you can dust underneath of your refrigerator and stuff and your stove and even your dishwasher. So that's a little trick I learned. And the last thing I did was clean the garbage disposal and the dishwasher. So all the up part of the kitchen is now clean. I just have to clean the rug and the floor and then we'll be done with the kitchen. Now if you have a pantry or regular full size freezer in here, then you would be, I would be cleaning it and getting it ready. But my pantry's in the other room and my deep freeze is in another room. So I'll be doing those inventories later. So I hope you, it's a short little video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're following along with me and I'm hoping that you are decluttering and cleaning your house. And remember to dream big, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up so um, YouTube will know that someone's watching and enjoying this. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.